So this afternoon I've got the pleasure of talking to a real Sheffield Wednesday legend, the first American footballer to play in the Premier League and also to play at Wembley. Uh, somebody that Sheffield Wednesday supporters absolutely love. He's coming to the 150th anniversary. So John, you've committed to come to the dinner. You know, what, what are you looking forward to? Because I know that I've spoken to you that you're so really excited about coming over. Yeah, I think the first things you look at are, uh, you know, the, the special experiences. Um, you know, for me to be the first American uh, to get an opportunity in the club as big as Sheffield Wednesday uh, back in the day was pretty special for me. Um, you know, I just remember, uh, you know, not just the, you know, the moments that we had as a group, as a club, you know, how successful we were on the field, but more off the field. Uh, the people, the family, the support that's there. Um, and that's just the way it is. I mean, that's how Sheffield is. It always has been. And uh, still dear in my heart, special place with the players, um, you know, with the coaches, Ron Atkinson, that first opportunity to open the door. And, uh, you know, when, you, when you're able to do that and achieve those moments, those, those become very special for you. For, for me, uh, everything about the club itself, what it stands for, um, it's such a high-level club. Uh, the people, uh, that, that's what makes it very special. Yeah, and in modern history, that team that you played in would, would probably be most fans' favourite. I mean, we're talking from 91 when you played at Wembley and won. Uh, I mean, how special was that day? It was very special. Thank God John Sheridan's right boot was working well. Uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was a terrific goal. Uh, it was a special day. Great occasion for the club. Um, massive, massive platform. And... Uh, uh, it was great little storylines there as well, you know, with Ron Atkinson going against his old club and us being a lower division at that time, uh, getting promotion within the same year. Uh, uh, getting to Wembley, for me, as, a, as an American in the first seven months of my career in England, very short career there, uh, was very, very uh, special. And, uh, you know, everything about the occasion itself was, was tremendous. Okay, and so it's about 25 years ago since you actually played, 24, 25 years ago. Uh, I, I mean, I've just looked at it on Twitter and I've seen a, a special goal that you got at Derby as well. I mean, can you remember that that goal? You must be able to remember it. <laughs> yeah, uh, not that old. Not that <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, was a, it was a special one. It was, um, you know, look, I mean, you're in a great team, you're in a great side. And uh, when, you, when you have quality players around you, it creates opportunity for yourself. And uh, that type of uh, goal... Um, yeah, it was my best ever, to be fair. I mean, there's there's quite a few other goals I've hit. Uh, the couple of weeks after the cup final, I hit a goal against Barnsley as well um, with my left foot. Uh, and then most of the players giving me sticks. They didn't know I had a left foot. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a great time for us. And uh, you know, that, that goal was pretty special. I think, um, you know, for it to be goal of the year in that particular season, and then everything that culminated in, in you know, winning the... Uh, the League Cup as well against Man United. Uh, it was a special time and it came very quickly. And that was the thing. You had to kind of interpret what was happening in your life so fast. You know, and as a young player, you know, I'd already played in the World Cup, but this was something that I'd never experienced before. To have this type of uh, euphoria at the club and have this this uh, connection with passion to the club and then be able to represent uh, Sheffield Wednesday in the Owls. Uh, so what was really incredible at that time. So the goal was just, you know, an extra bonus for me. And, but everything else about being in that group was, was pretty special. Yeah, I mean, you've just talked about the group and that, that was the, the next question I was going to ask you. That must have been a really tough dressing room to, to get respect from, you know, and to walk into that dressing room because you can imagine, well, I can only imagine the characters that were in there, like your Ersties, your Chrissy Waddles, your Sheridans and all that. So how, how easy did you settle in when you first arrived? Uh, I think they test you right away. <laughs> uh, I can remember all my gear being hung up in the middle of the room, the dressing room, when I came back from my first training session. They didn't know if they actually liked my gear or not, so I, I took it that they didn't. Um, uh, no, it was good. I mean, everybody, I think when they care about you, they give you stick. If they don't speak to you, then you know that they're not being, they don't care about you. I must have been loved everywhere I went then, because I got loads of stick. <laughs> You're still getting sick, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was good. It was difficult, I think. You just had to prove yourself. It was always a proving ground. And I think that's what made it special. Um, uh, it wasn't just about, uh, you know, your football, number one, you had to prove that you could play at that level. Uh, 
uh, the, the second part of it was the personality that you can actually take, you know, a good wind up here and there and just have a laugh. And because uh, that's part of football, you have to be able to balance it. And when you're in the dressing room with Nigel Pearson and, and you know Chris Waddle, John Sheridan, Kingy, you know all these players that want to wind you up and rip you. I mean, cutting the socks before you run up the training, you know, all the little things they would do. It, it makes you special, and that's what brings the group together. So to me, it was I love the wind up. I was easily giving them back as well. Okay, John, I could talk to you all afternoon, I really could, but I'm going to wind it up because obviously you're coming to the dinner. I don't want to get all your best stories out because we want to talk to you on the night. So I really appreciate you speaking with us this afternoon and uh, can't wait to meet you when you come over. Yeah, me as well. Thank you so much for having me. I look forward to the occasion. Thanks, John.